I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Somebody make this man press it. Oh no! Jesus! Stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? It's over. Peace out. Peace out. Okay, guys, we're back with episode three of. <laughs> Sorry, we're back with episode three of Stan. St the messed up game. That's what it's gonna be called from now on. The messed up game, and um, yeah, Nika's gonna love the fact that I'll have content to upload while I am in Albania, because like. It's currently 18th of June, which is fun fact, the birthday of my dad. Oh no. My, my father's birthday is today and I'm playing this video game. Yes. But I don't know when it's going to go publicly. I don't know. I think it might go out in July or something. No, you are not doing this to me again. You're not doing this to me again. No. Oh no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Oh, I can't take this anymore, to hell with it. Restart. What do you mean, restart? What do you mean? I paid $20, no, $10 for this game. I... You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent people, right? Yeah. Why can't we make up our own story? Exactly. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Stop restarting. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? I like where we're going now, bro. I don't even know your name, but I like now. it. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. That's right. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. As long as it's Use not scary. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley. Are we going in circles? I'm ready for it. We are going in circles. We are legit going in circles. What is this? I fell for it for a moment. I was actually walking around in circles. How stupid am I from a scale of one to Johnny? That's a meme. Oh it's no, not you call. again. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it <laughs> and we should be fine. The line hacked its way through. Well, this is, this is amazing actually. Do I have to speed up this? Really? Like this is taking too long time. I don't want to waste your precious time. It's really important. It means a lot to me. Um. Oh no. Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Are you Okay. What? So I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Why which should... means that somewhere I'm not gonna do it. the no. place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door okay, that leads do here. And it. that in turn means not? that our okay. destination <laughs> corresponds with the <laughs> counter-inverted reverse okay. door's shut up, origin. Shut up, shut so up, starting shut from up. the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going. Just shut up. And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. That's right. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny logic. awaits. Logic. No. I want to go left. I want to go left. I want to go left. Jesus Christ. This does not look good. Confusing ending. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Third restart. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? It's not happening. Stop restarting. That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing, wall. Well, 
Who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get <laughs> a say in all of this? Is it all... really... No, it can't be. I, well, okay. I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game down. to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Somebody make this man press it. Oh no! Jesus! Stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So... Okay. Don't make this game scary. Don't do it. I don't want more scary stuff happening. I guess happening. now we just wait. I've been through you know, a lot. I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination bro. or the journey. My bro. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey no. and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Bro, listen, I've been well, through a lot. in the meantime... Oh, no. Jesus Christ. What are you even doing? I've been through so much DDLC, Amnesia, I don't want to play scary stuff anymore. Don't do anything that will jump scare me, okay? I'm... Also, what is this even? Maybe I should just... All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I will do that. I will do exactly as he says. Everything he says. No. Yes. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm going to do. Exactly as you say. Everything will be cool, nice, clean and simple. Tips Yet there was not a single person here either. Tips for not getting fired. Feeling a wave Talkless. of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up Wait. to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Let it all boil up inside you. <laughs> Take it out on passive aggressively and no come on I'm reading Using slides to assure employees that everything is okay. Make sure your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on oh. I'm trying to read. I can't read this so fast. I'm dyslexic. Dyslectic? Ah dyslexia? Okay, no, I don't care anymore. Let's just go. You hurt my feelings with your fast text. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Awesome. I want this to stay clean. I want this to stay awesome. We're just going to do everything he says. How is this building so big and so weird? I want to go to the bathroom. No, okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, what dark secret was being held from him. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. That's not he stepped that's into not the what happened. That's not what happened. Passageway. That's not what happened. You're lying. You can't lie. Your job is not to lie. Your job is to tell the truth. Shame on you. You should get fired. You should follow the rules of how to not get fired. Oh no, wait. Should I go there? Should I do it? Should I do it? You know, I'm actually afraid of elevators in real life. I do take them if necessary though, but I'm actually afraid of them. I had a bad experience with the elevator once. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Why is this so creepy? Also Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. But, 
But I don't want to get my mind controlled. I don't want to have my mind controlled. I want to... I want to have a free mind. But what if I want to escape? It says escape here, right here. Escape. Big letters, escape. It says run. Get the hell out of here, bruh. Well, you still can't do it. Why should I go in there? F*** this, I'm out. I'm out, bro. Look, I don't care if you want to make this Although story this cool. this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. No. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. You're fucking with my mind, man. You're doing this to me, actually. You're like, wow. Okay, wait. Have my mind control. Get my brain washed and be like every other simple individual. Don't be unique anymore. Be just one out of 1,000. Just be a random Johnny. Just be a random human being. That way. Now, if you want to risk your life and most likely die just for the sake of being unique that way my parents have taught me my parents teach me that i should go that way and that that's what i'm gonna do right now this nope. is for my dad's so birthday this is for my dad's birthday i'm gonna do this in honor of him and i don't want to get jump scared and i'm very proud of my decisions the I'll door behind him was not shut Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna run. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I'm gonna do it as long as it's not scary and I don't think jump scared. Wait. Oh, is it scary? I'm gonna go anyway. Ah! Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plugging the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Oh Jesus! Oh no! Oh don't do it! Don't do it! Don't do it! Ah! Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Where? Was that supposed to die? What is this? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Why are the two narrators? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Peace out, guys! It's over! It's over! It's over! I'm not playing this! It's over! Bye! Goodbye! Goodbye! Goodbye.